Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here. October the 28th, 2024, on a Sunday. Right? Let's see. No, what am I talking about? It's a Monday. Jeez Louise, I'm getting up thinking it's Sunday. Not realizing. I had a long day yesterday. Long day at work. You know, I'm working on things and it, it was a long day. So, so thus, I'm, you know, a little tired. <sighs> but I wanted to come on through and say some things about, you know, certain things that are, you know, kind of churning up in, in me, building up in me, uh, coming to the surface in me, uh, which, you know, which happens. I haven't had the time to look at what's necessarily going on in the news, you know, or whatever, whatever is going on, you know, there's always something going on on this big planet. So keep that in mind, you know, it's, it, you know, there's always something going on and you're going to be, you're going to resonate with what you're going to resonate with. Okay. So don't push that. And, 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 and again, be very, very conscious about what you think you know okay and what you think you understand because um you know there's more going on than meets the eye there's more going on uh, with what you see what you hear what you sense and receive there's more going on with that and so again i told you we are all on this course of uh evolving our consciousness but that that is based on uh each one of us having our own journeys and paths yes a lot of us are are uh resonating together and which is a beautiful thing and you know necessarily in, in most of my videos i'm not necessarily talking to you but i want you to hear what i have to say because all we're doing is uh picking up what we can pick up as to how to help ourselves, number one, and then help each other. We that's how that's what um, you know. That's the act of love as well, act of universal love, I should say. When we are working together on different paths towards the same destination, you know, right? That's that fits each one of us. Uh, those of us that are operating on righteousness and 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 just and 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 you know no uh, ego based behaviors and actions you know we, you know we recognize the grander scheme of things so and so you know necessarily who I'm projecting my information to and you know we're here to help each other to disseminate properly you know based on our own experiences our own life experiences because there are billions upon billions upon billions of people on this planet. And not one of us can necessarily affect billions upon billions of people. Unless they're resonating on the same frequency, the same vibration, whatever everyone's saying. Which is, the words are irrelevant. It's about the behaviors and actions and what you're thinking about. I'm going to keep coming to that. I'm going to keep repeating that. Until I don't until I don't have to and that is not anytime soon okay so again I had a um, a busy day yesterday a lot of things you know were kind of filtering through me because that's what happens as well with the uh, they, they call it swinging waves but it's just nothing more nothing less than energy you know the energy of nothing <laughs> for the scientists out there the, the so-called self-proclaimed scientist, that is. Um, so everything, yeah, it's about energy. It is. We're energy. You know, our physicalness dissolves at some point and decays and turns into dust or turns into uh, organic matter for the planet. I've said that before. Again, that's to the scientists and those of you that operate in that, and you know, and believe that you understand everything about all of that. And, you know, sadly, you don't. The results speak for themselves. Now, I can sense that 
Again, there are some people that are feeling guilt and remorse because they understood that they made some detrimental mistakes and they're doing everything that they can to kind of neutralize some of those mistakes. Some of those mistakes did not have to happen, but it's because they were operating off of their ego. They were allowing their ego and and their, um, you know, their grander belief in how powerful they thought they were or how, uh, you know, over others, I should say, powerful over others. So a lot of people are waking up to uh, remorse and uh, guilt and they honest and they're doing everything in, the, in in silence and let me you know when someone is doing things in silence it doesn't mean necessarily they're not talking and they're not interacting with people they're doing it in a silence of something internal all right to get themselves out of what they put themselves in and and and, and what they've done to the planet and all of us that you know the animals the creatures the humans the flora and the fauna. I mean, some people know that they've caused some devastating um, uh, results, which will result into catastrophic uh, uh, effects. You know, the cause and effect, the cause and effect, and they are some. You know, some have uh, did not take the time to understand the errors in their ways and a lot of them have passed away you know passed that baton on to their next personalities and you know they're going to hope that you know whatever so we'll we'll talk about that again later but um you know so so I know what I'm saying I know what I'm doing and I know who I'm talking to Okay, and I know who's listening. Okay, and that's and that's there's a difference in that as well, in people that are listening. Okay, and how they're listening, and how and and listening, you know, with their with their physical ears, but they are also listening with an internalness of resonation. That's what I mean by you resonate. You 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 know you can't avoid it. How about that? You cannot, some of us cannot avoid certain t sounds and tones. You can't avoid it. You know, it's part of the, you know, it's a part of the reality, especially in this, on this planet. Okay, our behaviors and actions, unfortunately, unfortunately, are causing devastating consequences to the whole universe. Okay, outside our soul system too. But, you know, that's why, you know. And so a lot of people in those operating in those um, arenas, you know, and see them as games, realize, okay, they played, they didn't understand the game. And so they're now, it's now coming back to haunt them. So it's called cause and effect, reaping what you've sown. So, so many people, like I said, are operating in silence, meaning they're operating internally to see how they can unravel this and, and reverse some of this stuff that they've caused. Okay. I've talked to that. Mm -hmm. And they know who they are. I want I you know uh, yesterday was a uh, uh, I had a I had a bitter taste in my mouth. All right, let's see what that means. Because it was literal, and and usually when it's something literal, usually has uh, a metaphor. Okay, and so that's why I want to look at the metaphor. See what it has here about it. You know, a bitter taste in my mouth. I, I want to. I want to look at the. You know, it was physical. I mean, it was literal, and it's also um, figuratively and metaphorically. Let's see if they have it in here. Let's see. So yes, I had this. I have this bitter taste in my mouth, and it's because of. Um, you know, uh, let's see if it's there. It may not be. I'll have to explain it, what that means. You know, based on my, uh, my, uh, let's see what it says here. To create a negative impression impression or association for one 
based on something that has already happened. That's what it says on one. Which is, you know, I like that. To create a negative impression or association for one based on something that has already happened. Wow. Wow. How powerful is that? So, so yesterday, again, like I had a long day yesterday and, and certain things were kind of um, building up inside of me. And sometimes that's the only way that we can pay attention is something has to, you know, if we, if our sensing, how we sense things is how information is communicated to us. I told you it comes from the outside in. You know, it's the impulses of the energy of information that's coming at us. I mean, at record, you know, it's just coming, 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 comes. Sometimes you'll miss it. Sometimes you'll grab it. But it's just constant, constant, constant. It's all energy. Okay, a lot of it, unfortunately, has, uh, has, has, you know, has uh, tilted over to criminal energy, negative energy. Okay, I said that. And so it now is it, because it has been going on for so long, thousands and thousands and thousands of years, it's now encased around this planet. You know, we are encased in negativity around this planet, and if we had the right tools and equipment, it will it could be seen. And in the future it will be. You know, certain things will be seen in the future because for a lot of people, they it, you know, they always say if I can't see it, it ain't real. And so that's that that's uh immaturity uh because you know can you see the energy can you know can you see that we are saturated in energy that we are energy it's not just the atom okay or these nuclear weapons that a lot of us love and you know and those consequences are dire for everybody on this planet because of nuclear weapons and the, uh, uh, you know, like I said, the immaturity of those criminal energy, usually people dealing in criminal energy are immature um, and, you know, and filled with just, you know, they're just underdeveloped, underdeveloped. And they are, uh, you know, a lot of people say, you know, rolling in their graves. Well, you know, cause and effect, cause and effect. And you do reap what you've sown. But you may not know that you are. We all are reaping what has been sown, whether we are aware of it or not, whether we want to accept it or not. And it's based on our ancestry. It's based on our lineage. It's based on this and that and the other. All right, we're we are the effects right now, or certain. Uh, we are the effects of something that was caused thousands of years ago. Here we are facing each other. Okay. And that's that, that's that, that's where I told you the criminal energy elements of our societies disregarded. They felt like, okay, well, that's not my problem. Well, it is, <laughs> you know, we do, there's a process of how we are evolving and there's a process of how we are reliving. And that's, I think that's the term that we, that that's being used. We are reliving. And uh, a lot of people are like, what? You know? Well, we, it was once called reincarnation. How about that? Okay. So we are realiving ourselves. We are to live again. Okay? We are reliving um, human beings. So when I say passing the torch, when I say passing the baton, that is what I mean. Okay, that's a lineage that I'm talking about. That that is a, a spirit. It's a spiritual component. I'm talking about a spiritual component of a lineage that causes us to be reliving. Okay, also known as reincarnation or that that old term of reincarnation. Some you know sometimes I mean because of our uh, underdevelopment, some things have to be put out in breadcrumbs. And you have to evolve to the actual meaning of it. So, like, if I say reincarnation, that's not the, the the real, that's not the genuine 
meaning of it. It's reliving. Okay, that ought to make a lot of sense. It has no religious connotations at all. All the others are are contaminated with, with religion and the religion um, indoctrination, religion, the religion, you know, is this, it, you know, esoteric, okay, esoteric. So let's see what that means. Okay, esoteric, which means um, it has here is an adjective, okay, and it also says here uh, an esoteric programming language is a programming language designed to test the boundaries of a computer programming. Now, put that into, you know, our realities, you know, because a lot of us believe we are... Pro a lot of us believe that we are assimilations and believe that we are computers and this and that and the other. That's the failure of science. And that's the failure that's coming back, will come back and haunt us year after year after year, decades, 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 you know. Esoteric. Uh, it says here also, relating or being a small group with specialized knowledge or interests. Okay, you can also say that's a small group of uh, cult leaders, cult, uh, clerics, sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissists, whatever, who hold on to specialized knowledge, which, could, which can be specialized, you know, which can be called, um, um, you know, secret science, secret science, um, you know, secret, you know, the secret societies. And I told you about secrets. Secret societies. It says the secret society. Secret society is an organization about which the activities, events, inner functionings, and memberships are concealed. Okay. It says the society may or may not attempt to conceal its existence as well. So, what am I rambling about? What am I rambling about this morning? Well, you know, I you know I know what I'm doing. I, to those of you out there who may not understand what I'm doing and 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 uh, but yet you still support me nonetheless silently support me and I appreciate it you show homage to my uh efforts and I appreciate that and a lot of you do not you know you, you it's not that you you know all of us are brilliant in some way fashion or form whether it's negative or positive brilliancy okay it can go both ways um, and so a lot of you that on this, uh, who are silently supporting me, you know, silently supporting me with your, your energy, your, um, you know, and you, and, and then as well, you attempted to do it in your behaviors and actions. And I, and I see you. How about that? I see you and I appreciate you and I love you. I really do. This is, I'm speaking of genuine love, especially, you know, to those of you that are making the effort to understand, but you may not, you may not, you probably say, what the hell is this woman talking about? But you are intrigued, you know, you want to know more. And like someone said to me, and I appreciate this person for, for saying this to me, you know, they, they said they're leaning into what I'm saying. They want to know, okay, what is this all about? Because they know deep, deep within there's something there. There's something that they are, you know, that they may not have known existed and they thought it was outside of themselves. See, that's the beauty of it all. It's within you. It's right within you. You just have to activate it. Just like the evolving of the consciousness. Once it's activated, and so the so-called secret society over the course of thousands of years has in case, has understood certain elements of energy, but they didn't know that there's, just like there's millions upon millions of dimensions out there. You know, um, and, and, and millions and millions of components of energy out there. See, a lot of people were out, out, were operating on the surface of it, actually below it. And those are, the, like I said, the cult members, these uh, these uh, uh, chlorex, uh, people that are operating under intentional criminal energy. Okay, their whole purpose is 
criminal in thinking. It's about uh, uh, indoctrinating people. It's about controlling. The main thing is this control. So, yesterday, let me just tell you what. Like I said, I had a bitter taste in my mouth yesterday. And that was a literal, figuratively, and metaphorically. Because I know, I know a lot of the damage has been done. You know, I know that there's not much anybody can do about a lot of things with our planet. Not, not a goddamn thing. Okay, regardless of what anybody is telling you. Stand by. So a lot of you are waking up in your lives at certain elements of your life. And I told you, some of us are going to get a glimpse of this, this divine um, uh, energy. You know, it, it's love. That's what it is. But it's, 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 it's an it's a undescribable uh, love. You know, I do the best I can to say it in words, but it's, you know, but, you know, sometimes you can find it in music, you know, in certain lyrics in some music and the sounds and tones, you know, you know, it's like you, you can't necessarily uh, verbalize it. So it has to come in lyrics. It has to come in sounds and tones and melodies and blah, 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 blah. So There's a lot of, you know, there, there is sadness, okay, when I think about certain elements of what we've done. And I say we, you know, we're all in this together, okay? I mean, some of us, you know, um, did the best they, you know, if, you know, if you're talking our ancestors, our lineage, some of them did the best they could to, to kind of interject and, and try to change the course of things, but it's just, it was just, it was just too much. And so, like I said, they went silent, not necessarily voice wise. They went silent within to see how they can unravel this and, uh, and, and make things right. You know, I've said that to a couple of people, you know, you can make things right, you know, uh, and, and I look to certain people, you know, human beings to make things right. You know, because they know that they can. Um, there's a lot of people that are just, uh, I mean, I know we're all battered, physically battered. No matter what anyone says, we have a reason to be physically tired. Okay, we are, it's hard to breathe. And if people are being honest with us, they'll tell you that, you know, that there's a reason why a lot of us have these respiratory illnesses. Okay, it's because of the climate. Okay, it's because of the the high levels of CO two that's not coming from fossil fuels. Hello. And so, at some point, there will be so called scientists that will co be coming forward to announce that because you know this is going to be their last ditch last ditch effort to help. And they knew that they had their hands in there, causing the harm. But they they're doing the best they can, like I said, to make things right. And but they're gonna know that it's um it's too late. I told you about this planet in two thousand seven that had billions upon billions of people, and they all died in their sleep. Well, not all of them, the majority of them, billions of them, maybe a I think it was like one hundred and twenty billion of them died in their sleep because of the oxygen. Their oxygen ran out. They could no longer breathe. Okay. So, and that's where we're headed. Okay, just, just want to make that clear and effective. So the bitter taste in my mouth is, um, like I said, I can feel the sadness and I can feel the, uh, the, the, um, the remorse. And you know, all you, all I can say is that you know, um, you know, you, you just you just you know you, you just you just need to let it go, and let it pass. Okay, and that's the same thing about you physically. Let it go, allow yourself to pass, and let you know you let your future lineage deal with it. Okay. I um I've you know and I um I'm and I'm you know paying attention to a lot of um people that are saying things and they have 
no idea why they're saying it. They think that they are clever in their language to people and how they um, are, dis you know, see, I told you um, everything's about uh, materialism. Okay, and, and I'm telling you, some people out there are saying beautiful things, but they're not walking the talk. You know, they, you know, they have this beautiful language of words and how to put the words together. Most of them are using artificial intelligence, by the way, and they have been for almost 50 years. Let's just say almost 50 years. Um, so they, so they know how to, how to beautifully put things together, but they're not walking the talk. So that's why a lot of them end up killing themselves because they are, uh, lying to themselves. And they know that they, what they say is not true. And so that's why they get despondent, depressed, and then they eventually take themselves out, commit suicide. But what's different now is they are not just committing suicide. What they want to do is bring in as many people as possible. Okay, because they are coward. That's coward behavior. Okay, coward behavior. To bring in other unsuspecting people in you know, which may not or know, may not even know what they're getting into. But if you're operating on a certain vibration and it's all about materialism, about building wealth, about having this and having that, having 10 cars, 10 houses, if they are, you know, a lot of people run into that. Okay, that's, uh, that's criminal energy and it's uh, devolving yourself. You're devolving yourself when you, everything is about materialism. You know, how many houses, how, how many houses can you live in at once? You know, I mean, we all have to accept our realities. And if you, if you logically can explain to somebody why you need 10 houses, cool. If you can logically explain to someone why you need a hundred cars, fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Um, but it is, I know, but everything does require a, a um, the the elements of having the basic necessities in life yes yes we all need clothing housing food transportation blah 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 but just you know if you can justify like I said why you need 10 houses hey that's on you not on me there's no judgment there hey you decide that's your decision but uh, um, but so, but again, so many people are saying beautiful things. And so somebody has said something that I, I've seen a couple of times. And it's, it's the evolve or repeat. I don't know who started it. It is irrelevant, actually. Um, because, again, most people are not walking that talk anyway. That's, that's beautiful. And it's true. But how many people are... Taking that on in and understanding the ramifications of that. Evolve or repeat. Do you understand what that means? And do you understand the consequences of that? Okay? Imagine this. Imagine yourself living this, this certain reality that you're living, which is not a simulation, by the way. And that's what a lot of people are delusional about. This matrix matrix delusion it's a matrix religious connotation delusion and hallucination said it all right so imagine you are in your reality as you presently are as i presently am and say for example you are struggling immensely you're immensely struggling there's always a struggle a struggle a struggle a lot of people call it a hustle a hustle a hustle which you know, it has changed over decades. It's the, 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 the word hustle has lost meaning, okay? And for the most part, you know, we are responsible for developing ourselves and understanding who we are, what we are, why we are. But no, as soon as we're born, we're in a reality that that may not necessarily be our choice, all right? Meaning somebody has to take care of me. When I was a toddler, I had to be taken care of. You know, when I was a newborn, I had to be taken care of and nursed to get da, 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 da. So I no longer had any control over my life when I, when I was birthed into this world. Someone had to help nurture me and develop me and bring me to where I am now. All right. 
you come out you come out of the womb of your biological mother and you know you are in a reality and you you are made to not know what happened in the past for a reason in the past of your lineage okay you are realiving yourself and we have been realiving ourselves for millions of years by the way so you're realiving yourself you have you you, know, you you you're in an environment you know that you have to learn you have to develop you know you have to develop yourself develop yourself you know it's like climbing climbing a mountain and so each time you make a mouse each time you reach a milestone that's how you you know everything's still imposing but once you reach a once you start reaching milestones you start remember you know you start it's not that you remember but you you, you start to have a uh, connection to your life you know it starts at when you're newborn 7 14 21 28 those are those are the periods in your life where you know there's a lot of revelation there's a lot of heartbreak you know you get your heart broken you fail you make mistakes you make it you know that is that room in there to where you can you know kind of you know build yourself build that foundation like i said you know you know you know building a foundational existence and i told you if you reach uh your 30s and early 40s like 42 and below and you haven't developed yourself properly you know there's a there's a there's a strong chance that you are going to repeat now again a lot of people just do not understand the words that are coming out of their mouth and how much energy is there that's why you know but i'm not gonna you know hey it's you know it's all on you and and everybody at some point is going to be exposed you know whether you know i'm sorry about the glasses on and off it's just i can't read these are reading glasses by the way and blah 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 so i hope that's not distracting but it's, if it is oh well <laughs> you'll be all right it's a resonation you know, even though I'm distracting you in a way, you're still going to pick up the right sounds and tones. Just keep that in mind and be kind and gentle about all of that. Be kind and gentle, okay? Even though people are attempting to distract you, you can still get through this. Trust me, okay? Distracting you is the whole, that's part of uh, evolution. That's part of developing, to be distracted and have all these, this all this, you know, I call it criminal energy, you know, those forces at work. Because you need to be able to neutralize through it all and still be evolving above it. But we're not. The majority of the planet keeps keeps operating on the same energy, that same vibration. They're not they're not raising their vibration. They're not raising their energy level. They are uh literally figuratively and metaphorically devolving, which means that they're not thinking properly, which means that they're going to soon have di di uh, dying brain cells. They're going to have dementia, memory loss, Alzheimer's, uh, atrophy, and, you know, and we know what happens with most people that have uh, dementia, Alzheimer's. We know what happens there, right? Let's not be, and that's going to be happening to younger and younger people sadly because of the because of the imbalance of our planet and people are not thinking properly okay now when people are saying evolve or repeat like i said i don't know where that came from and i'm looking online you know it's commercialized but they didn't realize what they were dealing with when they said that and the ramifications of it so that's why you need to be really really aware of what you're saying you know a lot of people said to evolve into a better version of yourself that is the wrong thing to say you're perfect okay to say i want to evolve into a better version of myself okay think about what that what you're saying there okay because it is not about a better version of yourself you want to be a genuine, authentic human being in the true sense. Okay. Um, now, is that better? 
imagine if you're working in criminal energy. If you are evolving in criminal energy, a better version of yourself is going to be evolving in criminal energy. Does that make sense? Think about what you're saying, please. So you, you know, and a lot of people are saying things because they think they're being helpful, but it's also marketing. It's also deception and marketing. Come on now. Let's just be honest about that. I, I deal with marketing. All right. I'm making that clear and effective. I'm, I, I work with people that market too, because, you know, I want to reach people too. Okay. But I know what, what elements of marketing I will involve myself in. All I want to do is understand the market of people out there and understand how I can resonate. Okay. And, you know, I could do the marketing on my own, but there's nothing wrong with getting uh, help from others to help you. All right. Like I said, there's billions of people on this planet. Okay. So when people are saying evolve and repeat, <laughs> Pay attention to how you, why you're saying that. And to say that you want to uh, evolve into a better version of yourself, no, you will not evolve into a better version of yourself. You're going to be evolving into a better sameness of yourself now. In other words, you're not going to change. You're going to get, and you think you're getting better, but you're getting worse because you're going to be spinning, spinning, spinning. Spinning. So just understand why you say certain things. Okay. Um, it says uh, the definition of repeat is to do something again, either once or a number of times. And it says our brain love, our brains love to repeat. Is that true? Is that true? And it says here, I'm just reading th these commercialized. <laughs> oh gosh, these commercialized um, content out there. It says, um, it says every day you are presented with the options of either evolve or repeat the same habits, actions, attitudes, way of thinking. Every day you must make a choice. That's what one person says. Okay. Just understand the words and in what you're saying. Because, you know, people that are operating in criminal energy want to evolve and repeat too. They have been. For thousands and thousands of years. That's how the encasement of negativity was formed. Okay. So it's okay to say say that, but make sure you walk in the talk. Okay, make sure you're walking the talk because it sounds beautiful. But sometimes, like I said, we don't know the meaning of things and why we're saying certain things because we are indoctrinated to, you know, so indoctrinated to. Yeah. Because some people can think they're evolving and repeating, and all they're doing is devolving and repeating. They're not evolving, they're devolving. And repeating okay some people stay in you know it's like I said it's that spin of negativity self-doubt you know comparing yourself to others you know you, you you know you think you may think you're devolve you may think you're evolving but you're devolving into them same habits and behaviors because you're like I said you're indoctrinating yourself you know by you know there's nothing there's no there's no harm in um affirmations and um what they call that it, is it affirmations affirmations but some people become extremely extremely positive and that's where the that's where the problems start okay you want to be extremely nothing <laughs> you don't want no extremeness of anything you want neutrality affirmations what's another word for affirmations because oh. that's I, I noticed that as well where you like I said you were you're indoctrinating yourself and that you're not necessarily learning anything or you know you're not evolving anything you're just in a spin and and you're essentially devolving because you're not necessarily 
um, neutralizing these, you know, neutralizing yourself. Let's see what other affirmations. What is another word for affirmations? Long video, but you know, I know what I'm doing, and I know what I'm talking, who I'm talking to, and I like I said, I appreciate, um, I appreciate the silent supporters. Um, and the silent supporters are the ones that are, you know, consuming a lot of what uh, a lot of us are saying, and they are properly dis disseminating it. They're doing it properly. They're not stealing, you know, and they're not. But some are. I mean, you know, that that criminal energy is always there because we're encased in it. So they're going to always be in behind the scenes, those hidden hands behind the scenes, picking up and stealing and, and commercializing things. There's nothing wrong with making an income for yourself and, and, and providing for yourself and others, your loved ones, you know, but it's the intentions and they know that they are being criminal. They, they, they know that they are operating off of criminal energy. They know it. Okay. So that's why they don't have a, they don't have any conscience at all about stealing and harming and destroying humanity because they are, they are decaying inside with decaying inside with criminal energy they hate themselves and so what they're going to do is because they they are cowards and they can't take themselves out you know they don't want to go alone because they don't know what was was there and that's the cowardness of it all so they're going to do everything in their power to bring on along as many people as possible and if it means destroying the whole planet so be it i told you about that i knew belia okay is that is the eye the eye of God? Eye of God Nubla. Okay, that was that was created by a crazed human being. Okay, that hated themselves apparently and wanted to you know apparently want to, to destroy the universe, which is um, that's like having um, um, firecrackers. You know, what I mean those things that pop 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 pop. And thinking that you can destroy the planet with one of those. That is what he did. Even a, even people using nuclear weapons can cause catastrophic uh, uh, damage. But it, it's not going to eliminate the complete universe, though. It'll eliminate the planet and the people in it. And then the, and the remnants of it will go out into the universe and affect, you know, it affects the... Uh, <coughs> the um, livelihood of others you know what i mean the, the uh, existence of others and so they you know and other planets are going to protect themselves from that and are and have been from our carelessness and 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 criminal energy just criminal energy <clears throat> all right so when i woke up with the bitter you know when i had the bitter taste in my mouth yesterday you know, it just, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's a literal, figuratively and metaphoric statement, okay? There's a, there's a taste in the air that's coming from our, from our sources of nourishment and sources of food, not to mention because of the, the, the devastation to the climate, where we are all having trouble with our respiratory systems, whether it's small, medium, large. We all have a certain interference in our ears, okay? I can guarantee you all of us are hearing something, but we're not paying attention. We have allowed it to kind of just sit there for decades and decades, and so we can easily dismiss it, okay? Our sensing, our sensings are affected by the behaviors and actions on this planet, okay? And so that's probably why you have some, some idiot behaving so-called scientists saying, Oh, there's no problems with the population on, of people on the planet. Okay. Human beings dispel more CO2, more CO2 than fossil fuels. Okay. And so when someone comes forward with the courage to say so, uh, I'm not going to hold my breath on it uh, because it is dangerous. The truth is a threat and the truth is danger. And a lot of people have been assassinated when they attempted to share the truth. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and stop here right now. Uh, if, if anything else comes up, I definitely will come through. You know I will. And again, I appreciate, you know, the universal love, 
that I can sense and receive from from all of my silent uh, supporters and you know, it, like I said, it, it's not going to show up in my likes and it's not going to show up in following. And that's the reason, if people think clearly and effectively, it's for the protection. Protection. We are still, you know, we are still human beings. <clears throat> and, you know, we can still be harmed just like animals can, just like the planet can. You know, we're all fallible. And it says capable of making errors. Okay. And it's, uh, um, you know, like uh, li liable to fail, mistakes, you know, we're still fallible. So we can't be, and, you know, and, and this, the, <laughs> the importance is to live. And I know uh, some people say don't die. No, 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 no. That's not the, that's not the purpose. The purpose is to live. Okay. So that you can be relived. In other words, you pass and then you become. That's what it is. It's a continual cycle of life that never ends. And that ought to make people feel, I mean, when I knew that and, and was discovering, discovering that, that was a revelation of no. So that means, you know, I can, I can, you know, I can make mistakes and, you know, but you can't continue to make the same mistakes. You know, in other words, I can breathe and realize, okay, all is not lost, you know, per se, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So it's just a beautiful revelation once you get there, and we all get an impulse of it, get a, a, a glimpse of it sometimes. Sometimes you get the vision of it. Wow. Sometimes you hear it in the sounds and tones. Sometimes you sense and receive it more so, and you don't know, okay, where is this joy and this enthusiasm coming from, you know? And we want to give it to a God. Just think about that. You, you know, you get in all this, but then you want to give it away to some God, saying that they, they're responsible for that. You know, it's just it's crazy, but that's okay. What well, you know, it's about it's about we, I, and us. I, we, and us. That's what it's about at the end of the day. You know. A lot of us are going to get through it. A lot of us are going to get through it. It's going to, you're going to have some wounds, yes. You're going to have some pain, yes. You're going to be even more confused, possibly. But you know that you're going in the right direction, and you're going to keep going. You're going to keep moving. You're going to keep moving. So, peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Love each other. Most importantly, love yourself. And... Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And trust me, I will be back.